Hey everybody, Steve here. Welcome to this video on the RadioMaster TX-16S. Actually, the things that we talk about here will work on any Open TX radio. So uh, anyhow, um, did you know that this is video number nine in a long series that I've got going on this RadioMaster TX-16S? If you came here looking just for outputs, well, I have some bonus material for you. There are eight videos that precede this one. We start all the way back at like zero. We start with... Uh, adding a model and binding it and we go through inputs and mixes and we get to special functions and logical switches and beta flight Lewis scripts and all kinds of really good stuff but uh, here we are we're finally uh, at a point now where we're set up enough to where outputs uh, are relevant and uh, I told you back way back in video two we get back to outputs and here we are all right so for the purposes of this video we are using the TX16S with an FRSky D16 protocol receiver, and we're gonna be using Betaflight as our flight controller software. And for those of you who are using a different protocol and a different software, stick around anyway, because I still think that as we are talking about the outputs on the TX16S, I still think it will be relevant to you. Without further ado, let's dive in and figure out what the deal is with our outputs. So the first thing I'm going to do before I mess with outputs at all is I'm just going to go back to my main screen and I'm going to check my trims, my T1, my T4, my T2, and my T3. Trim center. I want to make sure it's centered. Trim center. Okay. Trim center. Trim center. All right, so I'm trim centered, which is wonderful. I like to be trim centered. All right, so now I need to go into one of those areas where there is a ton of dissension on the internet, and that topic is calibrating your radio. So let's dive in and get a little bit further. We're going to go ahead and long press on sys, and then we're going to move over to the hardware screen, and we're going to select the button right here. And, I mean, how easy can this be? It seems like it should be so easy, but there is so much disagreement on the internet about how to do this. I'm just going to go ahead and say this. Some people, okay, we're going to click this button and we're going to move all of our sticks to the endpoints. But before I move this button, some people say you're supposed to grab the sticks and, and just jerk them all around and all this kind of stuff. Make sure you hug all the outside points and stuff like that. Now, I have found personally, my opinion, one person's opinion on the internet, flay me if you want to, that that methodology is less effective than the methodology that I'm going to use. So let's go ahead and dive in. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select the enter button to start. And it wants me to center everything. So I'm going to go ahead and take a quick peek here. Make sure I'm centered on my throttle. And uh, it wants me to center everything. So let's center this guy and center that guy. And let's center these guys right here. And I think it's even important to center the six position switch. All right. We have now centered everything. So now let's hit the magical button. And now it says to move the sticks and the pots and the sliders and stuff like that. Now, let's go ahead and do the easy stuff. Sliders. Notice I'm kind of going slow. I'm not jerking them all around. I'm just going slow. I'm going to end up back in the midpoint. And my pots all the way to the end. Make sure you go all the way to the end on both pots and and back to the middle. And I don't know if this one's really important or not, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it just for the sake of doing it. Now, for sticks, I'm going to show you the way I do it. You can take it or leave it, okay? The reason why I do it this way, and I'll show you once we get to um, the beta flight screen, the sticks seem to have the most accurate calibration. So what I'm going to do is very slowly, I'm going to go all the way up to the end point and all the way down to the end point. And I might do that twice, but I'm going slow and I'm making sure I'm doing the endpoints. Here, across, till I bang into the side, bang into the side, maybe do it a couple times, like so. My throttle, I'm gonna go all the way down, I'm gonna go all the way up, I'm gonna go all the way down, do it twice, and then this is the hardest one to do linearly, but we'll just go to the side, and we'll go to the other side, make sure you bang up against the edge, side, side boom all right that's how i do it hit enter and that's our calibration 
All right, now with Betaflight open, I want to show you a very, very important piece of information. Interesting how the stuff in bright yellow is, is important. It says, configure your channel endpoints so that all the channels go from negative 1,000 to negative 2,000 and set the midpoint at 1,500, okay? That's what we're going to do on our outputs channel. So let me bring this guy in here now. And here's what I meant about accurate. Remember when it said to do the endpoints at 1500? With the calibration that I just did, look at my midpoints. They're dead on balls at 1500. I'm not going to have to make any kind of adjustment there at all. And as far as my endpoints are concerned, watch what happens when I go down. I'm at 987. Watch what happens when I go down. I'm at 987. Okay. Let's do the same thing with roll. 987. All right. So it's dead on balls accurate. But, but here's another thing that I want to show you is that when I bring this guy down, pitch, pitch is down to 987. Let me bring yaw all the way down. It's at 987. When I go the opposite ways, they're both at 2, 211 or 2011. All right. Same thing with, same thing with yaw, 987. Did I just do yaw? All right. Same thing with throttle, 987 to 211. And what's the only one we haven't done? Roll. 987 to 210 okay all four of them seem to have calibrated pretty nicely i don't know i'm just saying when i do it the other way and i do it all wonky crazy like i get all different kind of numbers and to me that's kind of a red flag all right that's just one person's way flame me if you want i don't really care but that's not the point the point is let's look at outputs long press here go to the output screen and here we are all right so what are the rules the rules are that center point is supposed to be 1500 and then the endpoints are supposed to be a thousand and two thousand let's start with our aileron and if you notice he comes down 987 if i bring him up this way he goes to 211 so let's go ahead and go to the output screen so that we can fix him i've zoomed in so that you can see the sticks and hopefully you can read the output so let me focus here a little bit there she is all right aileron channel one move it all the way over 987 move it all the way the other way it's 2011 so let's get busy and the dead on ball center is 1500 so we don't have to make any adjustments there if we did have to make an adjustment there this is how we would do it we're on channel one we select it we move over and we would go all the way over here to the 1500 we would select it and Notice as I move it, you can see if I'm at 1491 on the radio, I'm at 1491 on beta flight. Obviously, it's set up good. I'm going to go back to 1500 and I'm going to hold there. All right. But that's not the one I want to change. The one I want to change, or the two that I want to change. All right. So notice on aileron when I push over here, I'm at 987. Um, I'm supposed to be at 1000. So how do I fix that? Well, I'm going to grab him. I'll come over here. So I see 987 and I'm going to go ahead and click on the radio and I'm going to make an adjustment. 988, 990. I'm going to make an adjustment until I get to where I'm supposed to be. I got to click a bunch of times. So I'm just going to get to the sweet spot right there and I'm at 1000. And I'm going to click. Now I'm going to go to the other end. The other end, I'm at 2011. So let me dial that back some. Boom. Right there at 2000. And clickety-clack. All right. So here we go. All the way over. I'm at 1,000. All the way over. I'm at 2,000. Dead center. I'm at 1,500. Now I'm going to do that for pitch and yaw as well. All right. So I need to come out. Go to channel 2. I'm over. Here's my elevator, my low point, 987. I need to click to so that I can mess with it. 993, 94, 95, 96. There's a thousand right there. You can see I can click a bunch of times and stay within the range of a thousand. So I'm just trying to find the middle of a thousand as I can. It seems to be right there. Hey, look at that, 97.6, pretty accurate. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna go up to the high position. 211. I want to bring it back. There's 
and boom. You're starting to see a trend here. That's a thousand. Oh, that's two thousand. That's two thousand. That's a thousand. Now I'm going to jump to uh, channel four and I'm going to do yaw next. All right, save throttle for last. Go to throttle, throttle down. All the way is at 987. I can bring this up to a thousand. The reason why I did throttle last is because I want to show you something. Let's check them. Channel one, aileron. A thousand, two thousand, fifteen hundred. Let's check my pitch. A thousand, two thousand, fifteen hundred. Let's check my throttle. A thousand, two thousand. And there's not really a midpoint there. And then yaw, a thousand and 2000 and the middle is 1500. Now the one thing you want to make sure of the reason why I did throttle last was um, with your throttle of a thousand. All right. If this number is a thousand, make sure that your stick low threshold is above that by I'd like to go at least 50 because if your throttle value is not below stick low threshold, it won't let you arm. I can only say this. This is the way I've been doing it since I started using beta flight. And this has worked for me every single time. And that's it. I'm going to leave it there. We have now finished video number nine in this series on the Radio Master TX16S using OpenTX. Obviously, if you're using Betaflight and OpenTX, these methodologies can be used on any of the OpenTX radios. So do me a favor, check the playlist for the listing of all of the videos that have come before this one, and check the description below for a link to the playlist. Everything that I've ever learned about OpenTX, I'm sharing. I've been using OpenTX for many, many, many years. I've had many OpenTX radios, and I'm just trying to put forth the information uh, that has been beneficial to me in all my years of flying. So hopefully you found this beneficial. If you did, please like, comment, subscribe. If you really liked it, please feel free to share on social media. Get the word out. My whole goal with my channel is to take some of these complex topics and explain them in a way that even an absolute beginner could understand. So I'm glad you stuck around to the very end, and I hope to see you in the next video. See ya.